Aquarius. This is an ex reading. This is to see if it's likely that you and your ex will come back, reunite, you know, talk things out, be friends, what have you. Okay, so we're gonna see what's going on for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs, guys, for the 20th through the 26th. If this reading resonates for you, please hit that like button, share the video, subscribe to the channel. If it does not resonate for you or if some parts resonate for you, please take out of it what you need. Um, if it does not resonate, please don't make it. Don't try to make it fit, okay? Here we go, guys. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. My Aquarius friends, what's going on with Aquarius? All right, guys, here we go. You? Hmm. Them. What you want, you are standing strong when you're reading Aquarius, okay? What they want, wow. What you need, what they need. Is anyone else involved? Ha. Huh. Hmm. You are in a rush to say something. There is something that is itching you that you want to say. It's like you've had this aha moment. You have awakened to something. That is where you are right now. Very chatty, I feel like. And I feel like, not that you overreact to things, but you know, you have a quick comeback, I feel like, with this. Now, the person that you are thinking about is they have ended something. And I'm looking at these cards and, and, and I'm, I'm trying to get what it is that... I think what it is is that when you were dealing with this person before, a lot of times they didn't know how to take you is what I'm getting and I feel like that is what they have decided you know thinking like that you know there's there's no use in that the Aquarius is the way that they are you know even though they say this it may come across this way but they really mean well is what I'm feeling I'm feeling like this person is having a turnaround as far as you're concerned. I feel like they know that before you had their best interest at heart, that you meant well, that you always have. That's what I'm strongly getting here. I feel like what you want is you want somebody that does get you. You want the person that you feel like it's for you. Somebody that does not automatically jump to conclusions or feels, feels like, you know, you're being some kind of way when you say whatever it is that's on your mind. Because I get the feeling that you're not being hurtful. That was never your intention. That's how I'm feeling about this. And I feel like this person is realizing this and they are want to communicate that with you. I don't know if they have gotten up the nerve though is the thing here. This is lots of communication. I don't know if they've been reaching out to you. Maybe they've been reaching out to you anonymously, sending you little messages or whatever that you, you were not catching on to because you're pretty straightforward. You don't you don't send little, you know, messages incognito, anonymously, whatever you have to say, you say it. And I kind of feel like this person really does not know how to approach you, but they see that, you know, you are quite possibly the one for them. And they want to communicate with you direct and straightforward. I feel like they don't know how you're going to react because you do say what it is that you mean and mean what you say. And that's just the way I feel here. Now, what you need is to, if this person approaches, you know, it's being able to build upon a foundation that you guys already established. 
But this is also realizing that maybe this person needs something a little bit extra or maybe even something a little bit less and working with them, okay? Building with them, building with somebody, you know, caring about if somebody really gets what you're saying, okay? Because this person really needs to be clear. They're confused. They're conf they, they, know, they know which one of these cups or which two of these cups that they want, but they're unsure if you're going to be willing to want to build again, to want to reunite, to want to come together and compromise on the things that you guys need to compromise on. All right? Is there anyone else involved? No, don't think so. I don't think so. I think you're just doing you right now. I think you're just doing you. I feel like there there is something though, like I said, that that you want to say. Something that's on the tip of your tongue, like you're anxious about it. You may have just started another job too. You may be a commentator or you may be a teacher, an orator. There's something that that you're doing that's taking a lot of your um, your strength, um, your like your verbal skills. There's something that you're currently engulfed in for some of you that's taking a lot of your time that you are excited about as well. But this does not involve an individual. I, I don't feel like that. Maybe some of you are grandparents and looking after your grandkids for some reason. I don't know why I'm getting that. But yeah, someone else involved for them? I don't think so. I don't think so. I think this has everything to do with them, you know, stepping out on faith and, um, feeling confident in coming towards you and um, because I feel like this too is how you guys are they almost feel like a kid where you're concerned because you are so very strong and can you know say whatever it is that you feel like you need to say when you need to say it and you don't hold back from it very strong and I feel like this person almost feels kid like when you start speaking but I think that's their own level of um, insecurity here okay so let's see if this is likely nine of swords hmm that's always a harsh card you guys and during this time period 22 20th through the 26th, I don't really feel like um, the other person's going to muster up the energy or the nerve to come towards you because they're imagining the worst. They're imagining the worst. But the key word here is imagining. It's not real. Because you're not going to bite them. But they don't know that here. They're confused. They're disillusioned. All right, so Aquarius, that's what I have for you for the 20th through the 26th, and I'll speak with you guys soon.